Good day, my Facebook friends. I came all the way out here to face the east so you can catch the morning sunrise. We can catch it together. It's approximately 6.40 a.m. August 30, 2020. It's about 17, 18 degrees Celsius. It's going to be a beautiful Sunday. And I suspect you're all waking up this morning with that thought floating around in your mind. Come on, world. Let's take a walk together, side by side. Or as that uh, SNL skit would go, two eggs side by each. Right? Anyways, my friends, I want you to look at this day as the best experience ever. The one that you've been waiting for. The one that you've anticipated. That unexpected, most beautiful surprise that the soul has all wrapped up for you. It's your own unique experience in eternity. It's meant just for you. Your unique fingerprint is that mark that states you are the only one of your kind in all of existence. Nothing is like you. Nothing. Look at these cars. They're approaching. Now, do you think that the drivers in these cars are looking at me and then formulating in their own minds a story about the man that they're passing by in the wheelchair on the side of the road looked like he was filming. I wonder what he was up to. Do you really believe they're taking the time to formulate all of those thoughts in their minds? No. They'll just pass by, take a glance, and keep on going. But that's not the way that we usually operate. We don't just keep moving along in life. We're dragging the past with us, not realizing how heavy the past is. Each of those thoughts carry an energetic signature, and they're all tied in to other energetic signatures of everyone here that are thinking the same thoughts. They're bandwidths of frequencies that travel through the air like radio waves, only that they're generated by people's thoughts. Again, I can't make this stuff up fast enough. I don't need the attention. I want to share everything that I know with all of you because I feel the more information that we have, the more we're able to sift through what does not pertain to our growth and discard it. And please, by all means, come back to me and say, Michael, what you said is absolutely, definitely not in favor of our growth. It's a detriment to our growth. And I will humbly open up and accept researching and correcting myself, retracting what I've said before. We're all learning. I never claimed to be in a position 
of authority to speak of these things with full certainty? No, I can't say that at all. What I can be certain of is that this car is approaching at a very high rate of speed. You see? That's pretty quick, isn't it? Slow down, everyone. You're moving too fast. Frames can't get you when you're moving that fast. Wow, I sound like a deflated tire letting out the last bit of air. Well, this guy's going to speed limit. That, now see, that right there, that's the speed limit. All right? There you go. Good for you, buddy. Oh, look at the nice colors showing up in the skies now, right? Purple hues. Again, who remembers Taxi? With Danny DeVito. When he confesses to being the anonymous poet who's writing love letters to the only woman working amongst the taxi cab drivers. And she says, Louie, okay, you wrote the poems, you're confessing. Why don't you uh, recite me a poem on the spot? Prove to me that you're the poet. Okay, you want me to recite your poem? You got it. So I'm paraphrasing here. Pretty flowers blowing in the wind. With dew dripping. My hair free flowing. You and me. Lying naked on a rock. Oh, that... I, I would laugh so hard. Oh, that was a funny show. Then again, folks. All distractions. You see... They've given us television. Do your research on television. Look at I'm the only one on on the road. Isn't that nice? Look, I could travel miles and miles and miles on this road, never running into a soul. We are in a transformational time once again. I can't prove any of this, but it makes sense. I mean, why would the whole world shut down on us all of a sudden? Everywhere, across the board. Weren't we in trade wars uh, several months ago? Weren't we at each other's throats? I mean, we in the sense, I mean countries. Jockeying for position in the stock markets. Now, there's a cooperation going on. And who is being directed as to how to even place uh, your food in your mouth? What events you can and cannot attend? Who you can and can't visit in the hospital? Where you can and cannot travel to? Folks, do you see the lockdown is becoming even more prevalent? And what is that all about? It's not about a virus, okay? And then again, do not believe a single word I say. Just do your research. I have the fortunate... How do I phrase this? I don't even know. Let me just say my great friend, Dr. Mark Trozzi, works in Ottawa. Like, if anyone's going to be informed, it's the ones on the front lines, you know? Front lines, I use that term loosely. Front lines of what? This is not a battle, eh? 
It's not the Napoleon Wars, World War I, World War II, the Spanish Wars. No. This is about the system locking down all souls from experiencing something absolutely amazing. And that's the transformation from the Piscean to the Aquarian age, or from the mentally confused mind to the water bear that has full control of the life force. We are on a water plane. We are made up of the same elements, mostly water, which contains memory. Please do your research. Dr. Isaro Emoto. I just gave you the sign pointer. Points that way. That way to remembrance. Look him up. Dr. Isaro Emoto. Water has memory. He studied it for years. And under the observation of an electron microscope, freezing the water molecules and subjecting them to either classical music or heavy metal music, and you will see the water molecules, they will correspond to the music by forming the pattern that's most symbolic or represent, representing that structure. Meaning, if it's classical, Beethoven, Mozart, Bach, Paschal Bell, it's going to be a structured molecule, like a snowflake, beautiful, symmetry. If it's heavy metal, guess what? It's going to look like shit. Excuse the language. But then again, folks, don't be ignorant. Find out where shit, that word, comes from. The etymology of the word shit goes all the way back to when they used to transport goods on ships. That's ships, S-H-I-P-S. So they would transport manure below deck. And when you get an idiot pirate light up his pipe below deck, all that methane gas, kaboom. So, lesson learned. You cannot transport crap, manure, fertilizer, from one island to the next below deck. Because the methane gas will build up and you get an idiot who sparks up his pipe and the whole ship explodes. You lose uh, supplies and crew. So what do they do? They mark the sacks of shit, or manure, S-H-I-T. Store high in transit. Why should we store it high in transit? Well, if you store the manure below deck, you got a great chance of it building up methane gas. And then you got one of those idiots that you hire for peanuts blow up the whole goddamn ship you wanted to save yourself some coin hiring an inexperienced man instead you lost the whole crew because you wanted to save a buck and that's the way it is today folks most people will not take the time to look up the Spell casting that they've been taught. You're taught to curse everyone throughout your day through cursive spelling. Don't believe me. Remember, I'm the village idiot just delivering news that's either partially true, mostly true, 100% true, or completely false. So, I'm not going to pigeonhole myself and say this information is 100% accurate. Can't do that because we're in a never changing reality, aren't we? Moment by moment, it's changing up. So, who can claim to know the truth? Not myself, that's for sure.
Okay, who's coming at a quick speed? Wow. Slow down, everyone. You're moving too fast. Frames can't get you when you're moving that fast. All right, then. Hey, eh? that was like uh, one of those cushions that the air slowly comes out of and it makes that funny sound. That's me just there. All right, my Facebook friends, enjoy your walk with the world today. I am your friend and the distribution point for compassion in the universe. In this moment, anyways, I'm completely open, funneling all good vibrations through my heart right back out into this plane. May you receive it 100% today with a smile on your face. Step outside, greet the sun, the birds, all of nature, and say, hey, guess who's taking a walk with you today? All right, my friends. Enjoy. Take your next breath. Choose.